What's up dudes? Today we are going to design the new Pro Series for Revive Skateboards. Let's go. So Andy, Brian and I met and we decided for this series we wanted to do a vertical board with a Revive logo. and then have each pro name sort of either embossed or foil, you know, some sort of cool technique for each of the pro names. So my first step is to go into Photoshop. I'm gonna use the template that the manufacturer provides and I'm gonna just do a sketch of the skateboard. So let's jump into Photoshop. All right, all I'm doing here in Photoshop is a quick rough layout of the type. This whole series, not just the pro boards, but the other boards in the release are gonna all be tied together by the spray painted element. Usually when I, when I work on revive boards, I want the whole collection to sort of sit well together. We're actually gonna cut the a stencil out of these pro boards and for real spray paint i'm going to do a, a little bit more spray painting on paper scan it all back in and use those elements to create these pro boards but also the other boards in the series to get a real cool spray painted look i'm actually going to use spray paint not just brushes in photoshop we're going to take apart each letter here and print it out cut it out on a sheet of cardstock, and then take it outside and actually spray with spray paint. Now it's time to cut out the stencils. Let's go. All right, our stencil's all cut out now. It's time to go outside and spray. Bobby wants to come outside. <laughs> Okay, back inside after spray painting, I have all the spray painted pieces laid out. I'm gonna wait a little while so they can dry before I scan them in, but um, this is kind of what the board will look like right here. Revive. Gonna let them dry and then we'll scan them into the computer. But first, time to take a break and play a few games of Overwatch with my friend Brandon. got all the letters and extra splatters scanned in the computer. Now I'm going to mess with the contrast and everything and lay out the Revive logo on the board. Back into Photoshop. Let's go. Alright dudes, so what we're doing here is just taking the scanned elements and making them black and white, like no, no levels of gray, just either black 
or white, bringing them into the template and laying everything out. This graphic is definitely like a classic skateboard graphic going back to when Andy, Brian, and I all first started skating. A lot of graphics looked like this. Some of our, our favorite skateboard design stuff. This sort of simple, handmade, gritty design is what we love. Trying to get it looking super cool here in Photoshop, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right. Are you having fun working with me, Ollie? All right, dude, so the base of the Pro Boards is built the Revive logo part. This part of the design is going to be the same on each of the Pro Boards. Now I have to figure out what style I want the Pro's names to be. It's going to go down at the bottom here. I'm actually going to use this Posca pen and just draw out a bunch of different ideas on what the Pro's names could look like, and we will scan them in and slap them down on the design and we'll be pretty much done at that point. All right, let's get to drawing. So we got a whole bunch of options here. So I'm gonna let this stuff dry and then we're gonna scan it in, get it in the computer and slap it into the template. <laughs> All right, guys, there it is. I still have to put the rest of the pros names on their own boards. Um, and then tomorrow I'll meet with Brian and Andy, finalize all the colors, and then I will pick up the camera again when the boards uh, arrive in a few weeks. Actually, probably like a month or two is usually how long it takes for the boards to get made. And we'll, we'll look at the finished product and see how everything turns out. I'll be back in a month or two. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, everybody, I'm here in my studio at the Shred Quarters and the new boards have arrived. The dudes have them all set up on the shelves and this is the best part. So when we get to go down to the warehouse and pick out a set, see all the artwork in the finished form on the boards and uh, get to grab some new t-shirts and stuff too so let's go check it out Yes, all right, back in the studio with all the new stuff. New beanies, sweatshirts, a bunch of new t-shirts. Uh, let me show you this one. So this, we use the same spray painted Revive and put it down the side of the shirt. I think it's kind of a cool different placement. Man, this part is, is so much fun because we get to make so much cool stuff. I just love seeing my artwork on 
skateboards and t-shirts and wheels. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to see these yet, so I can't show you those. They come out soon, but the boards, ah, the boards, this never gets old. Seeing your artwork on something this big is, yeah, it just doesn't get old. Um, this one's so simple, but I'm really proud of it. We did some new techniques. These are embossed. The, the slime is embossed, so it's kind of like raised up off the board a little bit. Let's get to, we got a skeleton. If you want to see all of the new stuff, I'll link to Andy's video where he goes through all of the new boards and they talk about them. All right, and here's Aaron's. So as you can tell, we decided to go with different colors, not just the black and white. So yeah, these were super fun to make. Getting outside and spray painting and doing some hand lettering is always fun. And I'm just, I'm really proud of how these turned out. If you'd like to uh, ride one of these skateboards or grab some of the clothes, go to theshredquarters.com, theshredquarters.com. And if you have any questions about the process or you know anything that went on in this video, I'm happy to answer questions. Just leave a comment below. Yes! Thank you guys for watching.